we're looking north on Mo Arc Road. Property's on the right. It's on the east side of the road. You can see that pipe fence in there. The truck is parked on the property. This is a beautiful, uh, looks like a silver maple tree. So right now, uh, this doesn't have a driveway into it. It's got that pipe fence in along the whole west side. And what we did was we just drove down about 100 yards, came through the existing gate, and popped right back over. Uh, so really this needs to um, have one or two sections of the pipe fencing cut out, and you'd be good to go. Um, you may want to pick your own location. Uh, you may not care. We'd be you know, happy to do it for you. But if you want to come out and take your time and pick where you want your, your driveway, um, that'd be up to you. But again, looking north and on the right, there's a little brown house across the street here. So that's a great landmark. Uh, nice, pretty little yard. Haven't met him, but everybody that I've met out here has been super nice. Seems like mostly retired people out here living on the lake. Oh man, it's gorgeous. This pipe fencing is, is fantastic, by the way. This was a buffalo ranch and they needed this heavy duty pipe fencing. Um, it hasn't been painted obviously for years and years, but if someone were to come in and, and clean up some of these little trees and, and paint this pipe fencing, uh, you'd just have a showcase of a, of a property here. There we go. I'm trying to get a good shot that includes the pipe fencing because that is really cool. This is an unbelievable property. We're going to check it out here. The entire east side, <coughs> excuse me, borders the cake line on Bull Shoals Lake. Uh, Bull Shoals is a Corps of Engineer lake, so the public can't own up to the water. It's uh, it's owned by the Corps of Engineers and maintained <coughs> by the Corps of Engineers. <coughs> excuse me. So what you can do is own up to the Corps of Engineers line, which is referred to as lakefront. And this property does indeed do that. And not only that, but it uh, um, is directly adjacent to a really good trail that goes right down to a, a beautiful cove um, on Bull Shoals Lake. And we'll check that out as well. Gosh, this is stunning out here. It really is. You, I mean, you have your choice of building sites. Um, the property is mostly open. You can see the, the pasture or the meadow certainly build up here by the road. Uh, power and phone are very close. Um, if you wanted a little more privacy, you could just start moving back to the to the east. And actually, if you wanted extreme privacy, off in the distance, you can see that, that line of trees. You could build on the other side of that um, if you chose to do so. But let's drive back that way and we'll take a look. We are <laughs> just insanely excited about this property. We've been looking for years for properties um, on Bull Shoals Lake on the cake line, and they are just few and far between. They really are. The only ones we found had awful access. Um, you know, you couldn't even get to the water even if you hiked for 25 minutes. I mean, just um, so it's incredibly tough to find a, a property like this. And when you add the paved frontage and the power and the uh, phone, um, you know, right there at the road, basically, there, there just really aren't any other properties like this. We got so lucky on this project, and we're so excited to get these tracks. Um, they're all different. There are, are no two that are, that are the same, so they're all unique tracks. Um, this one probably has... I don't want to say the best lake access because maybe anybody who buys another track <laughs> track might be <laughs> like, what? But honestly, this has insanely good lake access. Like the meadow on the east side turns into uh, the trail that goes directly down, directly to the lake. Like you could put a boat in. I could have a boat today and we could just keep heading east um, from the east side of this property and have our boat in the water in about two minutes. It's fantastic. So this was an old fence row, I'm sure. Um, we're going to kind of 
skirt it on the south side. You want to check out the aerial maps as well. This property, I mean, it just fits really, really nicely. You can't ask for a lot more, um, I don't think, in a property than this. I mean, the size. Oh, well, hunting, hunting's amazing. That, that just popped into my head. <laughs> I don't know why. But um, not only will you, you know, definitely see deer and turkey on the property, but since it's adjacent to that government take line, uh, that is open for hunting as well. So, I mean, you it's kind of like bordering the National Forest, I guess you'd say, um, because it's, it's like a, a federally managed property, the, the government take line, and it, it is open for hunting. Um, so you can set up your shop on your property here, uh, and if you want to, you can venture into that, that government land. You've got direct access into hundreds of acres, um, thousands if you count everything that it touches, all the lakefront. But, I mean, easy access into hundreds of acres for additional hunting and, and recreation. I mean, yeah, I, I could just go on all day on this property. This is unbelievable. Okay, so now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spin around here. Because this is where I was saying if you wanted something uh, even more private, um, you could just leave that tree line right there. And you could do your home or your cabin or, or your campsite or whatnot back here on the east side. But the truth is, even if you built right up by the road, it's still really private. This is a, uh, Mo Arc Road is a dead end road, so there is no through traffic. Uh, like I said before, I believe everybody that I've met out here, um, I think almost everyone has just been, you know, a retired uh, older person or older couple that, that wanted to retire out here at the lake. So, I mean, <laughs> for privacy, for security, uh, the dead end paved road is, is unbelievable. sun so it won't come out well so as we get here um, toward the east side you can see the uh, where the timber starts that's going to be uh, right about where the government take line is and actually as we get to this part I think the property ends like right in here so this meadow itself is within the government take line and that's what you would use to access oops <laughs> this trail right here and this is what takes us directly down to uh, to Bull Shoals Lake short little trail you can drive your, your truck or car I guess uh, all the way down there and like I said you'll see when we drive down there in, in a minute um, you can literally put your boat in the water right there. Breathtaking. That's like a, <laughs> like a monster cattle guard because that's actually a buffalo guard. That was made to keep his buffalo in back in the day. So... Like I said, where we are now, we're actually on the, the government take line. And as we walk just a little bit to the west, now we're on the property somewhere in here. Um, so, yeah, we'll do another video uh, going down to the lake. And we'll splice that on the end. Definitely uh, let us know if you have any questions. A property like this just won't last long. If you're seeing it on the uh, government take line. And we're going to head down to the east and check out this lake. We've got this existing trail. I've driven this before, so I know you can take a uh, you can take a vehicle all the way down here. Super cool. This is an insanely popular lake, Bull Shoals Lake, and it's getting more and more popular all the time. They have huge bass tournaments. Um, all kinds of fishing and boating and and uh, different marinas and this and that all over the place and where we're going to end up in just a minute is uh, a cove called State Line Cove
Now this is, like I mentioned earlier, this is uh, on the government take line at Bull Shoals Lake. But, as you can see, in order to get a vehicle to this spot, um, you basically have to come through um, one of those properties that we have. So this makes it extremely, extremely private. I mean, you could get here on foot from a separate property, um, one way or the other. Old deer stand there. But as far as a truck or a car or, or whatnot, um, it's just that, that handful of, of property owners. And there's the water down there. You can see the pipe fencing. It actually goes through the woods. I was told that the guy um, 30 years ago or 20 years ago or whatever it was, um, the guy that had the Buffalo Ranch was kind of a prominent the original guy that did it was kind of a prominent banker or some deal and he was able to um, run that pipe fencing clear across the government land and just basically right into the water and that way his buffalo couldn't get around and and uh, escape um, because the buffalo would have to go into the water to actually get around and they don't like to do that apparently there's a boat out there this is state line cove right here Oh, this is gorgeous. Jeez. You can fish from right here. Um, I've been meaning to, to put a boat in here. I've been told you can with no problem, that it stays solid. I just haven't tried it yet. But yeah, this is super solid here. And just looking by how this how this is situated, um, we've got a small boat back at the house. I could roll that directly in here. Not a problem. Jeez, that's pretty fantastic. <laughs> I mean, even even without this lake access, um, it's unbelievable. But uh, when you throw this in the mix, uh, this is kind of a a once in a lifetime deal. Definitely check out our website at instantacres.com. Uh, you can email us at sales at instantacres.com. You can call us in the office. You can stop on in if you want to. We'd love to talk to you. But ultimately, if you go to instantacres.com, if the property uh, is shown as available there, then it is. If you don't see it on the website, then someone beat you to it. <laughs>